What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction request. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. Join the family, we'd love to have you. All right, this one is from Jazzy J. Jazzy J wants to hear Miley Cyrus Flowers. And uh, this is the lyric version that she wants to hear. I'm excited for this one. I know you guys are probably excited too because who isn't a Miley Cyrus fan? She is awesome. So without further ado, for me and Jazzy J and all of you, let's get off tap. quickly just so you know i've heard this before this song is fire i think i've heard it i don't even think i've heard it that many times but um and i don't even know if i've heard it all the way through but that hook is very catchable very catchable <laughs> it's very catchy easy to remember so once that hook came in i knew i've heard it before and i am enjoying it so let's continue and let her cook and then later i will cook so she cooked then i cook <laughs> All right, let's go. These lyrics are fire too, man. She's preaching like she's led it, like just be known how she really feels. I think she, one would say she knows what she feeleth <laughs> and thinketh. All right, let's continue with. You know, it's really good when you got a song that actually, you know, it's one of those songs that actually is probably made for somebody. <laughs> she's she's probably in a relationship with somebody and this song, because for me, that's when I write my best music is when it's coming from somewhere deep, like somewhere real, somewhere that is like, I need to release this and get it out of my system because I'm, I've got things I want to say. And sometimes it's easier to say them in a song than it is to just sing them out, you know, to say them out loud, like in a conversation or, you know, I was like, you know what? I'll just sing it to you. You just wait until my next single drops. I got something I want to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let her finish and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. Cry, but then remembered I, I can buy myself flowers. Uh -huh. My name is the 
sensational facts sometimes the facts are the facts and sometimes you gotta absolutely just spit out what you're really feeling inside miley cyrus did this in spades in the song because at the end of the day everything she said in this song is facts now a lot of people in relationships they seem to be disillusioned they seem to have this crazy you know notion in their mind that they are the best thing since apple pie and that without them you would basically be able to not even function let alone do anything for yourself like even hold your own hand <laughs> that's crazy because yeah i can hold my own hand too but at the end of the day, it all boils down to self-confidence, self-worth, knowing that you have that little thing called self-love, right? Because at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, how is anyone else going to love you, first of all? The next thing is, if you don't believe that you're worthy of love, and if you don't know how to be happy and comfortable in your own skin and your own life without needing another person to be that thing that helps to make you feel happy or smiling, again, you know, you might need to do a little work on yourself you know what i'm saying because you don't need some other person in a relationship a guy a girl a catfish a catfish <laughs> i don't know why it's a catfish but uh, you know you just don't need anything else to be that thing that is what is going to make you feel like you function like i know i've got friends like i can't be in a, i can't be alone i need a relationship or i can't be happy i can't I need somebody to hold me. And at the end of the day, no, you don't. You can hold yourself. Look, it's easy. See? Oh, it feels good too. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 stop now. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, okay, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> but y'all, look, seriously, you don't need someone else in a relationship. Relationships should only be something that you seek when you've got it all figured out for yourself like you're happy you're happy just in life in general you're happy you're going out and doing your own thing you're going out you know you're making yourself smile you're you're you're, you're making yourself feel like you're in the moment living your best life and that isn't because of Susie or Jacob or anybody else who will just make me feel special with them. <laughs> At the end of the day, you need to believe in your own self-worth, your own self-value, and have the confidence and comfortable, you know, just comfortable within your own skin, that just that understanding that you are perfect just the way you are. You don't need someone else to give you that validation, okay? You don't need someone else to be that thing that you can't wait to you know see in the morning or to you know sleep with at night or whatever your situation is I'm not judging I'm just saying that find your own happiness okay within yourself then when you go into a relationship after you've learned how to have that love for yourself and that ability to make yourself feel happy and to live your life to the fullest for yourself and not for your partner then when you go into a relationship it's going to be 8 million percent better because now you're not depending on that person to be your reason to be the thing that helps you to feel alive and you know he he's the reason why I feel like <laughs> the sky is so beautiful but it's not without him <laughs> I never learned how to read Uh, anyways, I'm just really saying that at the end of the day, teach yourself how to read. You don't need someone else to read you. Okay, come here, baby. I'm going to read to you. Roses are red and violets are blue. If you don't stop all this crying, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> anyways, great song. I'm making fun, but I'm being serious. You got to just have some self-love for yourself. You don't need anyone else to make you happy. You don't need anyone else to be, you know, buying you flowers, doing all these things to put a smile on your face. Find the ability to find your own happiness within yourself. And when you do that, then when you go in a relationship, it is going to be the best thing you ever had because now you're in that relationship on a more equal and better grounded foundation and playing ground.
because you're not going into that relationship looking for someone to be the why, to be the the reason, to be everything that you dreamt about in your wildest dreams. But you are going into this relationship comfortable knowing that, hey, look, I can leave you any time because at the end of the day, I don't need you to be happy. I don't need you to feel validated. I don't need you to feel like life is great. Okay? I don't need you. I go by my own Kit Kat. Because I deserve a break whenever I want. And I need you to be. <laughs> Anyways, y'all know what I'm saying. I'm sure you understand. It's very simple. Love yourself. Go in a relationship. Don't freaking depend on the other person to be the thing to make you feel happy. Period. That's it. That's what this song's basically about. I can give my own flowers. I don't need you to do it for me. Okay? Talk to Dan. But the rest ain't listening. I love it though. Great song. Great production. Catchy hook. Just great melody. Great vocals. Obviously, Miley Cyrus is what she does. She does great vocals because she is awesome like that. And then you have, of course, this little thing I like to call songwriting because as a songwriter myself, as an artist myself, I appreciate lyrics that actually has something to say, which she obviously does. And she just hate to be the person that she wrote the song for. Because somebody out there thought they were a little too big for their britches. <laughs> so my mom would have said, Are you getting too big for your britches? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, shame on you, whoever you are, who made her write this song. Because, uh, yeah, she, she had to step up. But it's probably a good thing because maybe she, until she wrote this song, was that person who was like, Oh, Johnny, please come home tonight. Please make me feel all right. Please hold me tight. So tomorrow the sun will shine bright. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, this has been fun. I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Jeez, I didn't even anyways love you guys thank you for tuning in jazzy thank you for the reaction request if you want to do your own reaction request, maybe you feel like you don't need to freaking be told that you can't reaction request your favorite songs because you can request your own songs if you want to i don't need you to i need to wait for you to request it for me i'll just request it myself because i'm an independent woman no ring on it either Anywho, uh, yeah, you can go into the link in the description and you can put your own reaction requests in and I will make it happen for you. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much. As always, remember to keep it off tap.